What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the to the podcast, The Crypto Millionaire Journey. It's your, it's your host, Wolf of Crypto here, bringing you guys another episode today. And uh, today's topic is going to really be all about investing, which is a decentralized fund management protocol. Uh, but before we dive on into that and get to the ins and outs of how the platform works, I uh, just want to do a little quick market, a little recap here, obviously. Uh, The market has been doing pretty well, um, definitely since, I would say, what about the end of July going into August. Bitcoin's back over that 44,000, 45,000 range. Ethereum obviously has done some pretty uh, nice, it's been on a pretty nice run since its fork, its uh, London fork here. Even though the gas fees are still a little bit too high for for my liking. Um, and there's some other altcoins as far as like Cardano, Luna, Matic, BNB, Dot, Link. I mean, those are just a, a few of the name of the list uh, as far as, you know, returns have been been pretty high. I mean, you talking about, I think if I'm not mistaken, 50, Link's been around that 50% range as far as like the last 30 days. And I know. Uh, sushi swap has done you know for my personal trade like over 25 percent in the last three days so as far as profits gains they're they're all there uh, especially right now like i said the market is very hot so if you have a chance to take advantage i would highly encourage you to take advantage of that obviously i am not a financial advisor so this is not financial advice just keep that in mind uh but let's go ahead and just talk about and dive on in with this investing project that i've found in it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat um, as far as, you know, what it is overall. Like I said, it's a decentralized fund management protocol that facilitates trustless interactions between prospecting investors and aspiring traders. Uh, the protocol provides an open market for investors and traders to exchange their offering in a trustless and non-custodial environment. Both parties need not to worry about the custodial of assets or management. And uh, obviously, one of the reasons why I want to talk about this today is because you guys know, and those for you that might be new to the show, um, I am a trader. I do, uh, I do all my own, all my own trades. I do have a trading robot experience as well. You know, I've built some trading robots. Currently, actually building some right now. Uh, and then, as far as the fund management part, uh, I do do that as well. Um, I am currently managing other people's money, and uh, I figured, you know. This is something that is totally, uh, totally new. Um, and so far, I would say I've had a great experience so far. And then obviously the fund, uh, obviously my fund that I'm managing, uh, the type of performance and results that I've gotten from my one investor. Because right now I don't have too many investors under my belt. Obviously, I'm hoping to get some more investors as they start to see uh, my performance and what type of returns they could potentially get on the money that they might want to invest into my particular fund um, but it's pretty simple I mean like I said the platform is real easy to use uh, if you guys haven't had a chance um, go, you guys can head on over to my YouTube channel and you'll be able to see a couple videos about just the platform and obviously my performance um, but like I said it's you know it's for traders and investors so as far as traders and managers um, obviously this is pretty much the driving force of the protocol um, because we're going to be obviously running funds and obviously going to try to attract as many investors uh, to these funds to generate a stable income for not just the managers, but also the investors as well. And what's kind of cool for the investors is you got, you know, some options. You got, you know, so a variety. So as far as the different protocols that are integrated on this platform right now, you have Pancake Swap, uh, you have Walt Swap, and you also have Radium. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe Radium is on Solana's blockchain. Uh, but as far as what they have coming in the future, uh, as far as some different protocols and platforms you can look out for, they'll be integrating Mango Markets, Project Serum, uh, Sushi Swap, Uniswap, Soul Farm, and Curve Finance. So. These are some protocols that are, I'm, I'm curious to see, obviously, how long it's going to take to actually get them to a platform. 
me personally, I've been pretty much dabbling uh, my hand into mostly tokens off of PancakeSwap. Um, but as far as the token now, it's behind the actual platform. So there is a token uh, for this particular platform. It's called IVN. Um, it's an ERC20 token that's built on open Zeppelin standards. It is a native token of the protocol, which will be used to both capture value from the protocol and allow holders to participate in governance. Uh, without users, any protocol obviously is worthless, and the IVN token represents ownership in the protocol and is architectured in a way that the protocol's total value under management grows. Further, it will be owned by managers running funds on it. Um, on it. Or I should say managers running funds on it. Excuse me. Now, the protocol captures an average 1.4% of total value under management as a fee on each successful cycle of manager being their set return on investment and collecting performance fees. Hence, manager success in markets is directly proportional to the protocol's growth and to ensure the longevity of the relation. The total fee accrued by the protocol will be distributed among the managers and developers with a gradual decrease in developer share as fees earned by the protocols increase to make sure both the parties move in a smooth linear growth. Now, as far as the incentives part, um, now for managers and traders, this is where the incentives come into play. So for managers, traders, running funds on investing and staking the IBM tokens will capture the accrued fee earned by staking IBM in the staking contract, which will mint IBM tokens that represent their share in the fee distribution pool. You will come with less IBM tokens only to leave with more. So that's the whole kind of plan. Now, as far as the fee distribution to manager pool will gradually increase on a tier based system, which is determined by the total value generated by investors managers. So obviously there are a couple of uh, different tiers you have here and the more protocol earnings, the higher the manager's fee and developer's fee uh, come into place and also the fee to use to burn tokens as well. So when it comes to development team, they decided to use 20% of the profits accrued from developers fees to buy back the IBM tokens and burn those to further align goals with the protocol growth. In case the managers don't stake to capture the total fee, the fee will be used by back IBM and burn. The burning will stop when 50% of the tokens are burnt and in subsequent phase, the fee will be added to the manager's earning pool. Additional incentives are being planned to be given to the managers handling top performing funds, uh, funds with high assets under management, funds with greater than a vest, uh, with a, than 100 investors and much more. Now me, for my fund, I'm not staking any IVN tokens right now, obviously. Um, I think that's something I will start to implement as I start to grow more investors under my fund. Um, Cause I know for right now, the IVN token, I believe last time I checked the price might be around like two cents. So obviously it's a good idea to obviously, you know, gobble up a lot of these tokens at a cheap price and stake them um, since I am a manager. So as far as the investor side, their incentive, um, the investors will be airdrop IVN for certain criterias and in a highly unlikely scenario where funds hit maximum drawdown due to technical breakdown investors can expect a loss to be covered by the treasury, which is locked to safeguard investments key liquidity providers' interests. 10% of the IVN are locked as insurance for investor funds, and as the total value under management grows, the treasury will be replenished with a basket of different assets to protect all users' interests. So I would say those of you that like to be part of a governance type of token or just type of project or just governance in general, uh, these are some of the kind of things that you will be able to participate in if you are a IBN token holder. Um, I do believe that the IBN tokens will be the vehicle to drive the alignment and participation in this particular protocol. Uh, now these token holders obviously will be people who want to interact with the protocol in some way. Uh, they're committed to its future development and also obviously want to see at the governance table being able to you know vote on certain decisions um, some of those examples could be implementing new functionalities, uh, introducing changes to the protocol level fees, um, basically anything that they feel 
uh, that they want to see on the platform and get reviewed, uh, all these IBM different token holders will have the, the chance to kind of go ahead and be a part of that. Now, as far as my particular fund and uh, the performance it's done so far, because my fund has been up and running for about almost a full, it'll be almost a full two months, uh, the next about, what, two weeks or so. And um, my current performance right now, it's at 48.37%. Assets under management right now is at under 45 Binance USD since Binance USD is the particular um, coin that you will use to invest into these different funds that they have to offer. Now, I haven't hit the threshold quite yet as far as the claimable fee goes. Um, still got to um, do a couple more trades here and get that performance up. But like I said, for my fund, for it to be basically almost at 50% uh, type of performance within almost two months is not too bad. And what's also kind of cool too, is you can compare um, all these different funds. So you do have plenty of options to choose from as far as funds on different platforms. Like I was saying, you know, you have Pancake Swap, you have Watt Swap, and they also add this new one, which is uh, called Defy Funds. Still gotta do some research on that one. But right now, if you were to come on Pancake Swap and you want to, you know, look at which funds are doing uh, the best, uh, my fund right now is currently at number two. And my stipulations, as far as my fund, in case you want to invest in mine, um, the minimum investment amount is going to be a hundred dollars. Um, I just feel like, you know, that's not too much, but it's enough to get some decent, I would say, you know, some type of decent returns, right? Uh, because with this particular platform, um, there are no like limit orders. No, so you can't just come in here and just, you know, place a little limit order, have it trade, buy, sell, and all that. You actually have to do a lot of this manually, which is kind of interesting. And I'm hoping to see maybe in the future uh, that they will add a limit order uh, process to this platform, if that is possible, uh, just would make it things a little bit easier um, but you know like I said I don't mind coming in here so like I said um, my all-time performance right now is at 48.37 percent last week up about 13.13 percent .13%, which is you know not too shabby and then as far as my performance fee it's at 40 percent management fee is at two percent and the minimum return that I am offering to uh, my clients or investors is going to be 20%. So um, they do have a farming. Uh, I think that's where you will benefit from the being a token holder. But right now the farms are closed. Um, they're going to be live on Solana pretty soon. I'm not quite sure when but you know that's something that obviously i'll be following along because again i think this is where you will go ahead and be able to get some of your investing tokens by participating in the pool and they do have a pool for investing managers and investors and they have a pool for a uh, ibn holder so the apois are are different for each pool and like i said that's something that You'll obviously be able to participate in hopefully in the next couple of months um, but like I said it's it's real easy as far as you know being a manager um, investors come on in they invest their money then from there you pretty much just take their money and you can go ahead and start trading in the trading terminal and it's kind of interesting um, some of these coins are already available as far as you know some of the assets that you want to already trade with and then there's a token list where you basically have to come and you have to approve each token. And it's gonna cost you some gas, you know, not too much gas, but um, that is something that you have to use and go ahead and approve the tokens that you want to obviously trade with. Now my assets, you know, I'm, I've been dabbling with Venus, Cake, uh, Bitcoin, and F. Um, definitely want to dabble on into these other coins and I'm also want to dabble into the other uh, 
particular platform, which is WaltSwap, because I think uh, Walt Finance and some of their tokens, especially their native token, uh, has some potential to you know make some easy and not just easy gains, but some big gains as well. Because those are coins that, are, like I said, I have a lot of coins on my list, guys. I'm constantly always in the space looking for um, different coins. That, you know, keep in your back pocket, keep on your watch, because you just never know. Uh, especially when they're very very cheap we're talking about like pennies and some coins that are not even pennies quite yet but that's where all your trading comes down everything like i said uh binance usd is pretty much the base coin and then from there you can go ahead and select which coin you want to trade with obviously each coin that you're trading with and like i said they have uh this new fund strategies tab that has popped up not too familiar on that obviously this is something I got to do some research on and kind of look into this, but it looks pretty neat. Um, looks like you'll be able to stake, lend, and borrow. So again, this is something that I'll be adding to my homework as far as figuring out, you know, the, where the best ways to kind of take advantage of this. And I'm not for sure if there's something that uh, on the manager side, I'll be able to create for investors or do investors make their own fund. Like I said, this is something that I got to look on into, but Overall, from my experience so far, um, really can't complain. Obviously, I want to get some more investors into my fund because, I mean, you guys have heard here from yourselves, uh, the performance has been has been rocking. So we're talking about almost 50% in uh, less than almost basically two months off of uh, the $100 that, you know, that investor. I don't know who it is, obviously, because everything's just centralized. So whoever that investor is who invested their $100, you know, hey. They are getting a nice return on their investment. Um, obviously, gonna try to get to at least a hundred percent. Maybe the next what two months or so. I mean, obviously, this all depends on the market. But I gotta say, for those of you um, that haven't heard of investing, I would highly suggest that you check it out. Especially if you happen to already, you know, manage funds for other people. This is something that obviously that would be pretty appealing to you and then for those of you that want to invest um hey check it out as well because like i said this is not your it's not your standard typical market um we are talking about you know basically defy protocols here so that's something that you gotta keep in mind but that's gonna really wrap it up as far as this episode goes on the crypto millionaire journey appreciate you guys tuning in listening hope it, hope you guys are learning something hope you guys are enjoying it um definitely got a lot more in store for you guys as far as different projects right now i would say the market is hot obviously and then crypto as a whole is hot i mean there's so many different projects coming out uh another i would say space that i've been looking to get into is this whole play to earn uh, what's called it's, uh, blockchain gaming. That's something that I've came across a couple of games where I'm like, oh, wow, this is a unique uh, model. Um, especially those of you that have, you know play video games just in general. Um, you guys would know that all those hours and time you spent and you don't get anything back besides, you know, uh, I guess a, a little achievement notification. Uh, now it's now the blockchain gaming world there's some there's some games out there where you're playing and you're earning some tokens and then you can flip those tokens and stake them and create an nft i mean like i said man compared to last year to where we're at right now i mean i think a lot more conversations or having crypto somewhat involved in some uh some way so that's something that obviously i'll be diving into because again who doesn't want to play a video game and make some money while you're playing, right? But like I said, that's going to wrap it up as far as this episode goes. This is your host, The Wolf of Crypto. And you guys have been listening to The Crypto Millionaire Journey. And until the next time, y'all, peace. Peace.